All right, YouTube, what is happening? It's Chrissy here, and today, guys, I'm going to talk to you and give you a very, very quick overview on a drone automation app that I have found recently, and it's called Drone Harmony. Are you visiting Ireland? Come wander the miles with us. Plan your journey at wanderingmile.com today. So you may ask me, what is Drone Harmony and what is drone automation? Drone automation is what you can pre-plan a flight plan, upload it to your drone, send that drone off to run that flight plan, then return back to you. Why would you want to do something like that? Well, to me it's very, very simple, and it's battery life. It saves so, so much battery life. As we all know, as drone enthusiasts, your drone battery is your biggest limitation on this. Fair enough, you could buy three, four, five, six batteries, but at a roughly, give or take, 80 pound a pop, would you really want to when you can spend £30 for a basic lifetime license or $29 a month if you wanted the pro version or even up to $99 a month for the business version? I've been using Drone Harmony now for give or take about a year. Just back there in late 2018, early 2019, they gave the ability to upload to the cloud services. That's a massive, massive plus and they are going to be pushing more features in 2019. So Stay tuned to this channel guys and I'll be pushing more and more content about what Drone Harmony can do. The benefits for me now I have on the cloud based service is it means that you can create a flight plan on your desktop, you can then go onto your tablet if you're sitting watching TV or whatever and you can finish that flight plan off and then the next day then you can go out, you can fly that plan, you can come back home again, you've saved your battery, you can go and do multiple different flight plans in multiple different days and get the shot or the shots that you want to see. So it means that you're not wasting your time when you get out onto that field. Creating a flight plan on Drone Harmony for a desktop version cannot be simpler. Simply navigate to the Drone Harmony website. At the top, click Login. If you haven't already, then sign up or click Sign In with Google. Once you are signed in to the Drone Harmony desktop, then it's up to you where you want to create your flight plan at. Just make sure that you follow, obviously, the drone code if you are in the United Kingdom or your local laws to where you want to fly at. For the purpose of this demonstration, I have selected a small, quiet area of a car park on the north coast of Northern Ireland. What I'm going to get my drone to do is to simply fly around this car park in a complete circle. And I'm going to give you a very quick overview on how I set that up in desktop and then show you how I finish it off in the mobile version. Over on the left hand side for this you need to use a point of interest. This means then that you can get the drone to point at exactly what you want it to look at. Over on the left hand side if you click this little teardrop icon and then in the middle then where it says Harbour Hill or where you want the POI to be, you simply click. Your next step then is down in the bottom right hand corner. If you click that, at the minute on the desktop version you can only create manual waypoints. But as you can see here it says plans from the Drone Harmony mobile app catalogue coming before the end of Q2 2019. Which will be a massive, massive help. But at the minute we're going to click create manual waypoints. Here I'm going to set my altitude to 45 feet, click my drone which is the DJI Mavic and then press create. Now that that is done this gives you this little icons. The one on the left as you can see it tells me lift off, the one in the middle is my drone and the one on the right in the green is my landing spot. These are fully clickable and you can move them to where you want. So for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to click on my left icon, click it and drag it to where I want the drone to lift off and the same for the landing. For my drone, I'm going to set roughly up on this location and these little black pluses and whites here, this is where you can add more waypoints if you wish. As this desktop version is still limited from Drone Harmony, there's only so much that we can do on this app. You will have to finish the rest of it off on the mobile version. Now you've got it roughly set up to where you want the drone to be flying. But to me, the drones are all pointing in the wrong location. And you can see that if you click the select all icon here on the right hand side, 
These all show me that the drone is facing this way. I want it to be facing in the way. The simple and quick way to fix that is down here on the right hand side if you click direct to POI. This pushes the drone all into your point of interest. Now that I have got it roughly set up to where I want the drone to fly, I'm going to have to move over to the mobile app so I can get this flight plan finished off before I go out onto the field. Okay, now that we have moved over to the mobile or tablet version of Drone Harmony, on the right hand side, if you click web, it will give you a brief overview of what we had whenever we were on the desktop version. On the left hand top corner is a little lasso button. If you click that, this will then allow you to draw around all your waypoints for your drone, which this will select everything for you. Two down, little pencil icon, if you click that, and then on this, tutorial if we click smooth plan obviously you can use your maximum waypoint points on your curvature the purposes of this i'm going to just keep it the same and i'm going to click start now you can see what drone harmony software has done is instead of just having that little jaggets where the drone will fly around it's now given us a far better curvature for the drone to fly around again in the left hand bottom corner little white box if you click that this will now take you into the 3D model, which again is far superior to what is on the desktop version. But like I keep saying, it's still in development, so just give it time. Along the bottom of this is a little blue slider. This will tell you and show you roughly where the drone will be flying around. Once you are ready, you can save this to the cloud. Then, whenever you're out on the field, all you've got to do is load up the flight plan. On the bottom right hand corner, press the play button, follow the instructions, let the drone do what it needs to do, bring it back home again, and that's your video done and dusted. But if you just want to see even more Drone Harmony videos and if you want I can break down every single mission plan of what I've showed you, then go ahead, leave a comment down below, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button guys because if I don't get feedback from you then I just can't push out even more videos. If you want a full series and do a video per drone mission then I'm happy enough to do that or if you want me to take a different angle then go ahead guys but I need your feedback from you to do that there. So like I say guys, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, the little bell notification as well to get notified every single time I upload a video. And we'll see you later for more Drone Harmony videos.